Welcome to an encore episode of the Week Review. We take you back to May of 2018, May 10th, in fact, where Drew is worried about frogs. Paul states boring facts about May 2000, and it's Jack's 18th birthday. Be ready to celebrate with commercial reviews and Debbie Boom music. Enjoy this encore. KCTK Radio proudly presents the Week Review. Hey, you know what, guys? This right here, this rambling, boring conversation containing already made before observations, this could be a podcast. Huh, it's actually not a bad idea. Really? A podcast? Don't you have to be some sort of whiz kid to do those? Uh, definitely not. Anyone with a computer can make one. Well, that's it. We're anyone. Let's do a podcast from right here in the booth. Who's in? Yeah, sure. Let's do it. Is it happening? Are we doing it now? Awesome. You're the reason that we do what we do. Music and talk, it's all for you. Now the guys who are lots of fun for making you laugh, they're number one. They review the week just for you. So get ready for Paul and Drew. Welcome to KCTK Radio's Week Review with Paul and Drew and Jack all up in your face. Join in on the experiment by calling or texting us at 913-735-0060. We dare you. Welcome to KCTK Radio's Week Review with Paul and Drew and Jack, who's all up in your face and everything like that. Yeah. I'm Paul. (coughs) That's Drew. This is the show where we talk about things from last week. And we talk about things that may happen next week. You can join the experiment by calling or texting us at 913-735-0060. We welcome your participation. We broadcast live every Thursday night at 7 p.m. As you know, you can listen to us on live streaming at www.kctk.radio12345.com. But it's easier to use the Listen to My Radio app on your phone. And you can get that anywhere and then just search for KCTK. Also, you can watch all the action live. Actually, past adventures live. Mm. Or something like that. On uh, YouTube at KCTK Radio channel and watch past adventures. But that's not all. This program is offered as a podcast on iTunes, Podbean, Google Play, and anywhere you get your favorite podcast. So, welcome to the show. This is a very special, special program, and we're all glad you're here. So here, let me introduce our friend Drew. Hi, Drew. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's the Droosh, a.k.a. the Skeleton Man, a.k.a. Ruby Lavender. Yeah. (laughs) I was not that bad. I, I actually... Thought I actually thought that there was no way I could not understand more and more, but I don't get that. Does that have anything to do with the sunglasses you're wearing inside? Uh, no, um, I'm looking over here at your books. <laughs> what are they? You have a Skeleton Man and I Love Ruby <laughs> Lavender. <laughs> yeah, those are the girls' books when they were little kids. Right. You know what? You know who I'm going to give those to? Avery? When she's a little bit older, I think. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, cue the music. And, and, and littering and yeah, well, just keep I don't going. got it anyway. Littering uh, and yeah, I I can't. I I here's the thing about my sound effects. As we all know, they're annoying, and I love doing them. But I have so many that I can't find them very quickly. You know, you should really get more organization skills. I should. Why don't you put them in alphabetical order? Well, they they're kind of in alphabetical order, but not really. Why don't you um do? Can you can you do like a control F type of thing and then just find it? Yeah. I mean, you have a lot of solutions, <laughs> uh, but you don't know I'm really a, shit or what you're talking about. I'm just a dick. Yeah, you really, really are. But um, let's go ahead and introduce you, since you are the dick that we're referring to. Uh, you hey. are Jack all up in your face. And Jack, very special week for you, Jack. It is kind of a special week for me, Paul. Oh, there it is. Okay, anyway, I'm going to give I'm gonna give this the uh, those... Little girl books to Quinn Jacking, when she's Jacking, older. But Jack, how are you, buddy? Jacking in. Jack, I'm great. What is going on big with your week? Gentlemen, boys and girls, it's time to party! Oh, so yeah. Let's get this party started with mm, your mm, favorite mm, mm, Am I supposed to talk over the music? 
It's your birthday. It is. It, and it, my birthday's tomorrow. This is the big birthday show, so I'm playing some of the birthday music that you would like. Okay. Um, do, can, Doucheville over here. First off, I can do whatever I want, and I'm trying something, so just fuck off with my glasses. Did you get new headphones? No. Those headphones look new. They're not. I've had okay. them. Okay. Those had headphones them. are new. They're, I bought them this thank week. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. So, Jackie. Thank you for answering me. Thank you. Your, your, your birthday's tomorrow. Birthday's tomorrow. You have big plans or what? Uh, I'm going to go to... I'm going to go play speedball all night after school. Yeah, Is that is. drugs? <laughs> yeah, it is. Isn't it's speedball a, like a... Speed, 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 a little bit of cough syrup. Yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> speed, speed is a type of drug, and we're going to do speed, and then we're going to play ball. Oh, okay. Dude, speedball is some type of drug. It's Let's a, look it it's up on the Google. It's called, it, it's called an eight ball and a speed it's ball. either that. It's either that or go to an escape room on speedball. Who knows? Hey, do you like those, those type of things? I think they're fun. I don't. I'm Jesus not. Christ, I'm not. Turn off this music. It's I'm not. I'm not shit. like my father, and I'm not sure about you, but I don't have a mind being in like spaces with people. A speedball is a mix of cocaine and heroin. <laughs> <laughs> so you're gonna go play speedball? Huh? Yeah. Oh my! Stop the music! I don't really feel like talking right now. Is this Chuck E. Cheese happy birthday? I don't care. Yeah. It's your favorite song, dude. No, it's not. It's you gotta, love country. I hated Chuck E. Cheese. But Jack's too. young. He likes it. No, I hate it's Chuck E. Cheese. It's his birthday. Okay. Oh, boy. It's my oh. Chuck E. Cheese. Well, we're going to continue on the program, but we're going to continue to have a lot of celebration about Jack and his birthday. And we're ha- happy birthday, Jack. Thank you. And, but you do know. I don't care about my Nobody birthday. Cares about I don't care. Nobody cares about my birthday. They only care about the news from the douche. Droosh? All right. Here ladies and gentlemen, ground zero of amphibian apocalypse finally found. An ancient skin-eating fungus is killing off hundreds of species, and the Korean War may have helped spread it. Okay. So, yeah. expl- so is this like an alien in the water, or is it like a fungus? It's a fungus. Many of the world's amphibians are staring down an extin- uh, existential threat, an ancient skin-eating fungus that can wipe out entire forests worth of frogs in a flash. This e- ecological supervillain, the uh, chytrid fungus, I'm not even going to bother saying the other word, has n- driven more Thank than you. 200 amphibian species to extinction or near extinction, radically rewiring ecosystems all over the earth. Wow. This is the worst pathogen in the history of the world, as far as we can tell, in terms of its impacts on biodiversity. Imperial College London mycologist who studies the fungus, quote... Hmm. Now, a global team of 58 researchers has uncovered the creature's origin story. A groundbreaking study published in Science on Tuesday reveals where and when the fungus most likely emerged. The Korean Peninsula, sometime during the 1950s. From there, scientists theorize that human activities inadvertently spread it far and wide, leading to amphibian die-offs across the Americas, Africa, Europe, and Australia. Wait, so you're trying to tell me that Frogs and alligators and crocodiles aren't the only amphibians out there? Alligators are not amphibians. They're dinosaurs. They're reptiles. Dinosaurs. Okay, they're not amphibians, though. They're dinosaurs. I just want to make that clear. Yeah, okay. Uh, The pathogens could have happened from... Sometimes you feel like a nut... Did yeah, you ahead. want me to No, to no, stop? I, no, I'm listening to you. Uh, from the accumulative number of events, or maybe some big anthropo- anthropogenic events like the Korean War. Now that researchers know where the fungus came from, they can monitor this hotspot of chytrid diversity for new deadly species. The findings also serve as a stark reminder that if left unsecured, global trade can unwittingly fuel ecological c- catastrophes. It's pretty crazy. We're about to lose a lot of frogs, y'all. What you just said in America, who cares? It is one of the most here. insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. Everyone At no knows. point in your rambling, incoherent response, were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought? He's got a Everyone in this room, room is, is now, now dumber, dumber for having listened listen to, to it. it. And may God have mercy on your soul. You were awarded no points, and may God have mercy on your soul. <laughs> Should I play that every time? Yes. For you? If you want yes. to. Hey, I, yes. I got a question for Jack. What the fuck was he just talking about? So here's what I got. Okay. Okay, so aliens. I want, I want you to do the. Ali- aliens are coming down from space. No, wait. We're super- starting a new segment. It's called. Um, it's called. 
Interpretation of the Druge by Jack. <laughs> okay, so aliens are coming down from space. Okay. And they're wiping out... That makes more sense of what he said. <laughs> and Go they're on. wiping out all amphibians in Asia. Okay. So, America's fine. <laughs> America's and, number one with and, our frogs. And also, the Koreans, their little rocket fireworks made them uh, made the aliens get attracted to us. So, they started in North Korea. Okay, you lost me now. And now, <laughs> they started in Korea. Now Sorry. you're a ramblings of a moron. <laughs> it sounds, it sounds you are awarded no points, and may God have mercy so on your So, the question is... like 20 seconds so ago. Yeah, but I'm saying it to you now. So, here's the question. <sighs> Do we care that no. the amphibians are gone? We should care. Why? Because they helped uh, t- uh, control the population of bugs. They're, oh, dinos- okay. they're dinosaurs. They are? Mm-hmm. I thought birds were dinosaurs. <sighs> birds are dinosaurs. So are, so are amphibians. <laughs> <laughs> are cows? <laughs> yeah. Anything else? Um, pigs are not. Okay, pigs. Pigs are originated from, you know, people's wives. <laughs> I worry about you in the future. Yeah. <laughs> so, I don't know where I was going with that. I don't know. I, I, hey, sometimes I don't never know where you're going with that. I had no idea what you talked about, but thank you for your report. I guess you're I'm welcome. So, I guess I'm so... Do I sound like I'm being sarcastic? Yep. Okay, good. Um, because um, I guess maybe I'm just so focused on Jack's birthday. Then let's get that done. Let's get going. Let's not worry about what everybody came tech, here to listen to. Tech talk from Jack. Hey, Jack, here's, here's some personal tech talk. I sold my truck today. I got a dildo. I sold my truck today, and I sold my computer today. That happened. Other than that... Wait, don't you need your computer? No. I'm don't you play games and like do homework and stuff like that? I go play speedball a lot more. <laughs> I, I go outside more than I used to. Listen. No, you don't you need a computer for like college even in the future? Well, I'm going to get a laptop. Oh, you're going to get a new one, like yeah. a new car, too. Mm-hmm. What kind of car do you get? I'm looking at a 2000, 2010 to 2012 Ford Fusion. <laughs> that's a, that's, you're going to get a two-year-old... Two, Years made car <laughs> exactly. No, I, I, that's just the the range I'm looking at. Um, but enough about me. Come on, uh, we'll start talking about what's some big stuff that's going on. Um, and that's next... tech talk with Jack. Everybody, I have tech talk with Paul. Are you guys ready? Yeah, yeah Paul, we're ready. I'm on the edge of my seat. <laughs> I'm so excited. If you're if you for some reason have an Apple iPad. There is a way to get around losing the code to get into it. Mm. Now, I call, I ask an Apple Master how to do this. Mm. They didn't know shit. But then I figured it out on my own. So I am now the new tech guy for the show. Oh. That's Tech Talk with Paul. I wanted to fuck, fuck that guy. <laughs> Sorry. What? <laughs> What's wrong okay. with you? Any, what any, he's, he's, Who are you talking about? Your friend Dave or whatever those I'm talking about that Apple, that Apple dude. Okay, so anyway. You anymore? do it all the time with your own hand. Any other... <laughs> wow. Any other tech talk? <laughs> no. Well, I, I have some good stuff for you right now. Let's hear it. This is called... Um, Man, this vodka is so good. Oh, wait, wait. I want to hit a story before I get into your birthday stuff. Would, would that be okay? Yeah. I'm a little orga- unorganized today, but it's okay. Drew's so down that the energy's down in this room. Have you noticed that, Jack? Have you also noticed that he's kind of, his eyes are a little red? I can't tell. He's wearing um, uh, sunglasses. So, anyway, folks, here's something that you guys need to know about. My eyes aren't red. <laughs> this is a new, st- a new story from Detroit, a Detroit hip-hop radio station. They are banning... Kanye West. We talked about Kanye last week. Uh, Slavery was not a choice, but playing the music of Kanye West is. And at least one radio station is choosing not to uh, play the con- not to play him after the controversial mar- remarks. Host Shay Shay and Biggie at Detroit's 105.1, The Bounce, declared Thursday they were boycotting West because of his statements. Mm. Um, and what's frustrating is I was going to announce at this time that KCTK will also be banning Kanye West music. No way! Yes, we That's will. That's b- bull, bull we will. shark. First of all, we will not play them again because we don't like his comments. But the other thing is, we do a little uh, podcast and we put it on the YouTube. Mm. Our YouTube was blocked mm. because last week we played a little bit of Kanye's music. Oh. We played the Beatles. 
We play Queen. We play all kinds of famous people. But evidently, Kanye has some deal going on with with YouTube where you can't play his music. That's and, am I right? Yeah. I mean, what an asshole. It's because he's a douchebag. He's a complete douchebag. That and we were talking about his song, his song of the Week. We were saying how great the song was and everything else. So, well, I, I still like that song. Well. No, you don't. Not anymore. You, maybe you do, but you're not going to hear it on, on KCTK uh-huh. Radio yeah. or on the show. And probably none of the other shows that appear you on this network. You know what else we should ban? What? Keeping up with the Kardashians. This show will not. Okay. Okay. I repeat, we'll not watch Keeping Up with the Kardashians. Okay. We should also ban politics. Well, that's a, yeah, that has nothing to do with it. But so we're going to take one step further, and this this goes out to Shay Shay and Biggie at Detroit's 105.1 The Bounce. We're going one step further. We're blocking the Kardashians. We will not be talking about their program. Right. We will not be talking about their big, luscious asses. And we will never, <laughs> ever play one of the Kardashian songs on the air here. Okay. Now we will may talk about um, oh, what's her name, Caitlyn, Caitlyn Jenner. Yeah. Oh, how she's a beautiful woman. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because we are woke. Right. We are <laughs> in it. I mean, if you think about the definition of woke, that's me and you and Jack. Listen, if you think about, I like to get woke and swall in the same sentence. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know uh, what I'm saying? I'll work on that. Yeah. Let's get swall and let's get woke. Let's do it. So enough, but enough of that type of stuff i mean we are we're still we're still excited about jack's birthday and you stop bumping the the table what are you talking about i'm not doing that (laughs) jack do you happen to know what song was the number one song when you were born 18 years ago you were born may 11th 2000 bye 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 britney britney spears hit me one more time britney spears hit me one more time what's your bye 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 by nsync those two um fall into a different category from this song because those two are good songs. Oh, okay. Here's Santana with Maria Maria. (laughs) Oh, yeah. Oh, jeez. It's on the sheet. (laughs) Can you believe that this is the song when your mother was in labor? She was in labor for... Maria Maria. Your mother was in labor for 60 or 70 hours. Wait, really? Yeah. Hey, I'm telling him about his, his... Hey, I'm singing. Hey. I'm fucking singing. Mute his mic. And it was just... It was a terrible thing that she had to go through terrible. For, your, terrible. for you getting born. And this is what she had to listen to. Here's some more facts about May 11, 2000. It oh, was, I gotta hear this shit. It was a Thursday. So that makes sense. You showed up for the first night of KCTK. You were ready to go. Yeah, I appreciate ready. that. Um, you're a Taurus. Yes. Um, now, tomorrow's a Friday. Okay, that's good. Uh, you have slept, if you were born on this date, you have slept 2,190 days, about six years of your life. Mm-hmm. You've been alive for 1,057 in 704 hours. Whoa. You are 9,462,240 minutes old. 9 million? 9 million minutes. Hmm, I feel like it would be more than that. Well, you're wrong. I must be at a billion. <laughs> Some of the things that happened on May 11th in history. Constantinople was founded. Who? Constantinople. I don't know what that is. Well, it's a city now called Istanbul, but uh, the Roman Emperor Constantine, you probably know all this stuff, Drew, yep. named it Constantinople. He was one of the very first emperors to embrace Catholicism. Mm-hmm. This one will get you very excited. Minnesota became a state in 1858. On May 11th? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Einstein's theory of relativity was presented... Einstein was alive? Oh, wait, never this mind. This is all on in, May In 1919. 19. Sorry. Sorry about that. You're good. I was just helping you along with it. I understand now. Do you? In <laughs> 1975, the Flyers won the semifinal hockey game. Yeah, Mighty Ducks, too. <laughs> These are the top things that happened on May 11th. Now, if you were born on this day in 2000, oh, <laughs> you're a Generation Z. No, I'm not. Often to refer to as post millennials. The I, I generation. I am a millennial. Forever and will be. No, you're the Y. 
You know, and you know what you are? The the Q, because you're queer. Also, wow. in, on this day, you're not very woke. <laughs> but on this on the same day that you were born, Governor Angus King signed a bill in Maine to make it the first state to threaten the pharmaceutical in- industry. Pope John Paul II named Bishop Edward Bridgeport of Connecticut the head of the New York Diocese. Jesus. Wow. On the same day, Mexico reached a free trade agreement with Guatemala. <laughs> Drew. What up? What do you What do you take from these things? Fun little facts. If someone put a gun in my head, I could probably remember them. No, I take it as it had to have been the absolute most boring fucking day <laughs> ever in the history of time. <laughs> And Jack, you that's got to make you feel good. Maybe you're <laughs> the best thing that ever happened on May 11th, 2000. His mother sure thinks so. <laughs> what up, y'all? Nobody out, y'all. I'm very upset. So congratulations. Thanks. You were born in the most boring day ever in the history of time. But now, you're... I mean, I don't know why you can't go through life and someday... Someone's going to look back and go, you know what May 11th was? <laughs> Jack's birthday. You know Jack Lavota? He, he killed that girl on that day. <laughs> Andy mowed down a bunch of people in a bus. It was one of the weirdest things I'd ever seen. Because, all on tape. Because he was twenty. Because he was 18 and he had a speedball and he went nuts. <laughs> so you have something to look forward to. Yes. With his AK. So. Get your AR. Like, like, child, like Childish Gambino. I can't make the news, folks. I just read the news. You know what I mean? And I try to uh, make it exciting. But I can't I can't turn Jack's very boring life into something exciting. <laughs> what can I say? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah? Right, right of silence? It's okay. So, you know, happy birthday, man. Thanks. So, uh, you got any plans besides doing speed balls and coke? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's no. go take a break. <laughs> let's take a break to the most boring uh, program that's ever happened. That's not completely true. It's also useless. You you, you talked about dead frogs and, and I get, I'm getting nothing from Birthday Boy here. Yeah, because so. he's on speed. <laughs> he's on a ball. But we got commercial reviews coming up. We got a review of a new movie coming up, uh, a trailer. So we're excited. We continue. It is the week review with Paul and Drew and Jack on KCTK Radio. We'll be right back. On Highway 9. Hey, hey there, everybody. My name <laughs> is Danny Morrow. I was the executive producer on The Biggest Loser. I am now starting a brand new, brand new program called the Fatty Patty Mental Hospital. <laughs> Are you overweight and it makes you super depressed? Well, guess what? Just shoot me a text in $5,000 and I'll get you fixed up. I'll cut all I'll cut all that fat out and I'll make you feel very happy about yourself again. Now remember, I am Danny DeVio and I love you all. Thank you. Goodbye. Go from fatty to skinny with this new program by Fatty Patty. Sponsored by the Gary Stewartson Show. Time with a new song from Tom Jones. Coca-Cola. Things go better with Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola. Things go better with Coke. Life is much more fun when you refresh. Ooh, and Coke refreshes you best. Say, I could do with a Coke right now. Somebody get me one, please. Food goes better with. 
How you doing? I'm a spokesman for Jersey Mike Subs. Yeah, that's right, Jersey Mike. You want to have diarrhea? Come on down to Jersey Mike's. Because I'll tell you what, I had the best sandwich I've ever had, right? So it was roast beef with some chipotle mayo with the works, okay? It was awesome. But about 20 minutes afterwards, it was like a diuretic. I had to use the bathroom, so I did. And it was there for an hour. But... It was good going down. So that's right. You ought to come down to Jersey Mike's, one in Lee Summit, one in in, uh, in Kansas. It's whatever. You know, just come on down to Jersey Mike's. Highway 50. It's Zach's tree service. Zach, Zach, Zach. Trimming, removal, brush hauling, cleanup, fence line. Low, low prices. Zack, Zack, Zack. Free estimates. He's insured. It's Zack Tree Service at 816-665-5869. Zack Tree Service. Wherever you have a tree, Zack will be there. 16 locations in the immediate Lee Summit area. Zack's Tree Service. Trimming and removal. He'll do a great job for you. On Highway 50. Welcome back to KCTK Radio's Week Review with Paul and Drew and Jack. And this is the program where we talk about things and have a lot of fun. Now... That was really quick. What? <laughs> That's what she said. What? That's what she said. Okay, continue. Now, I thought about something we should do. Do one of you guys want to explain it all on what we're doing when we do these live reads? Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Since... You know. There's a bucket with a bunch of pieces of paper on it that says random business names. We grab a random business and we make up a commercial on it, on the, a commercial for the business on the spot. Improv. Some of us are better at it than others. Yeah, yours was better this time than, well, than mine for sure. That, uh, yours was pretty good too, Drew. Jersey Mike's. Jersey Mike's. I, someone told me this week that we should tell people that because it's a lot better... <laughs> <laughs> they thought that we prepared these. <laughs> I mean, if oh. we're going to prepare them, they're going to be a little bit better than that. I mean, we could, but I also like the idea of having them improv right on the spot. Well, I'm just saying... I don't know why my my, my, my voice is going Jersey again. I, I guess I would say <sighs> this. If we prepared them, they would still suck. Okay? Right. Don't get me wrong there. Right. I'm just saying they would suck less. Right. So, there you go. Um, I want to do a quick commercial review with you guys. Oh uh, yes, and it, it was. I didn't plan on doing this originally, but I saw this commercial. I saw it last night, and I said out loud, "Doesn't this country suck?" <laughs> when it was done, right? And, and this was last night that you saw it. Yes. Okay. And I thought, what kind of fucking country do we have? And I don't think you guys will have the same um, uh, reaction as I I I had, but. Um, hmm. But we're going to go ahead and review this one. No signal. No signal. What the, fuck? What the heck? What the ball? Well, how am I going to do this then? Oh, I got to plug it in. Hold on. <laughs> oh, okay. We're having some technical difficulties. What can I say? Thank you for coming. Yeah, so, um, yeah, I may just have to play it without it, folks. But, um,. Uh. You know, if you have that strong of a reaction, sometimes you need to just go ahead and play the commercial. Sometimes you just gotta say it. And I gotta know what you guys think of it. Okay? 
All right. You ready? Mm. Yep. All right, all right, all right. As you can clearly see, the updates you made to your plan strengthened your retirement score. So that goal you've been saving for, you can do it. Okay, so we see a young lady being, she's being like a financial person to a couple. They look... They look older, don't they? They are. Yeah, older. I'm already having a problem. They're, with they're this. talking about yeah. retirement, commercial. so they are older. I mean, yeah. they look older. They are older. So she said, based on what you've done with your retirement, you can do your goal. And what was the thing you've had? Wait, did she say so do your goal? Of course, the Go woman back. is rubbing her crucifix on her brooch. Uh huh. Like, and it's a, and it's a mix. It has to be a mixed race that couple just, too, well, because that, right. that proves that the com- that the company is religious. They probably don't work on Sunday or something. Yeah. Okay. Wait, so, she's not. Wait, what? What brooch is she talking well, about? Well, she some type of goal. Okay, so here we go. Made your plan, strengthened your That's retirement score. That's not a crucifix. Score. So that goal you've been saving yeah, for, you can do it. That goal you've been saving for, you can do it. Why? why? Okay. Okay. So, yeah, I just want to set this up. Hold on a second. So these these older people, they're I'm assuming they're married couple. They've worked together on the retirement, and they have this big goal. So much that this. This financial person's excited about it. What do you think the goal is? That's bull. It's <laughs> stupid because they anything vacation, cruise, anything, new car, charity, no one, anything is better than you can do it. Your goal. See, Drew, when I saw this commercial, I'm thinking charity, charity. This person's so excited. They are so befuddled that they can do their thing. Yeah, I'm and she's like, rubbing a crucifix, and I immediately, I immediately like, go to that. They're gonna help poor people. Yeah. Right? Yeah. They're going to help kids. I mean, they've been working so hard. They're going to do something that's so amazing. It, yeah. it, 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 it It's so amazing that that's why you have this reaction of the of this financial person. They and then look at the way they react. You can do it. <laughs> They're like, what the fuck are you talking about? This, oh. We can do this. At f- we can do this? We can do this. I mean, they're just realizing their life dream. They've worked forever to do this. So you think it's, it's I mean, it's got to be a charity, right? Right. You know I what? mean, what do you think, Jack? See, you know what really bugs me about this? What? It's the fact that they're like, wait, we can actually do that? Yeah. Well, you know, if they have a goal, they'll know when they can fucking do that. Well, that's the point. I mean, they didn't even know they could do this goal. So they're either like going to the moon, right? Mars, Mars, or something like that, or they're helping kids and just their life, their life, or, pur- or this is their life purpose, or they're paying their kids college all the way, or maybe they're using the money to buy a bunch of Jello, and then they all just want to like make a, a pool full of Jello. Okay, I want you to hold on to that comment until you see the rest of the. But I'm going to come back to that. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. But the way they're reacting, am I right? Or am I wrong? That this is a pretty big. Deal. Th- this is a big, big deal. deal. Big, oh my god! I hope they don't show. I really goals. hope that it, I can't wait to see what it is. I'm on pins and needles. Are hey, you ready? Uh, yep. Yeah. Fidelity. Our online planning tools are clear and straightforward. So you. I mean, these are people who worked their whole life, scrimped and saved. I mean, they're getting. They're having their life goal. This is what their life is about. Right. You can plan for retirement while saving for the things you want to do today. So you're telling me that they wanted to just rent a boat and get to- <laughs> their life goal is to get on a fucking boat and impress their little stupid little grandkid. That's their life goal. Their life goal that they were so shocked that they could do is go on a boat. I mean, I guess I'm assuming they own the boat, right? But we don't no. even know that. It could be just we could go on a boat. We can. Okay. We go on a boat. Okay, a hold boat on. in hold a water. Hold on, hold on. I got something I had to say. <laughs> okay. I have to say this. All right. I had two grandparents that bought a boat. Okay. Okay. Once we hit a certain age, we stopped going and riding yeah. on the boat. But guess what? So guess what happened with the boat? What? They, they sold it. it. Yeah. And guess what? Your grandparents did. They didn't live a lifelong dream to buy a fucking boat. <laughs> no, they didn't. They did okay. Not. No. God. So anything would have been better than that. Okay. That's really not a boat. That's why I want to go back to the Jello thing. The Jello thing would have been better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because it would have been fun. And if they would put in this commercial something like. Oh, you know what? You guys have done so well planning. You get to go have fun now, and then you're they're on the boat. I get that. Yeah, but this but is, it was a goal, and they're rubbing their. It looked like a cross or a, a something. I think it was an anchor. Now that I really think oh, about it, it's an anchor now. <laughs> now it's an anchor because that, that little fucking speedboat yeah. needs an anchor. <laughs> it was an anchor. A boat is now that I think speed. about it, it looked like an anchor. And it's not even as, as purposeful as they go on a boat around the world on a cruise or anything, right? 
No, they're going at the lake, Lake of the Ozarks. <laughs> so going, they got themselves going, a speedboat. It's, it's fucking guys' weekend, and they're going on. on they're yeah. going down there. RB, R, RB's down there with them. All of a sudden, Jim Schultz is hanging out with his yacht and stuff, coming all out. What's going on, guys? His speedo is all he's all waxed and, and, and all that fun shit. Hey, hey, hey! Have you been down to the uh, Lake of the Ozarks yet, Drew? Or I me, mean, uh, Jack? It's been a while. It's dirty. <laughs> yeah, it's something to see someday. And you know what? If you work hard and you get to retirement, your, can, I just, retirement. can I just rent a boat for like $20? <laughs> yeah, that, that would actually, At Party Cove, you can rent a boat. <laughs> yeah, that would actually be better because then, you know, you could see all the all the um, people down there partying and having a good time. And you know, now that you reach your goal at this certain age, you'll be able to pick up so many chicks because you're some dirty old man. <laughs> so anyway, so you can see when that was over, I yelled. I didn't even yell. I just said to myself loudly, and my daughter heard, this is a fucking terrible country. <laughs> yeah. This is the values that we have, that someday See, I want to have a boat. Uncle Paul, I'm yeah. going into marketing for college. Uh-huh. I will make commercials way better than that. Just make it more realistic. You know what? You know what I'm mean? sorry. I, I absolutely believe you, and I have the, absolutely the nothing but confidence that you will. But your employers are probably going to be so fucking stupid, they'll end up making something like that. I and they'll make you do it. <laughs> I just... I'll yeah, be like, you want to get paid okay. that day. So what would you change about this to make it better? Um, I would change the goal. And... Yeah, goal. I would change the goal, and I would make it so that the advisor goes, now you guys can actually go on that blank. Oh, yes. Not that... You know that thing that you really want to do? Yeah. <laughs> right. Right. You, you know what else would have also been I good? I think that's it because it was the buildup that pissed me off. You know, if you if you do a good job in life <laughs> and you have extra money <laughs> and you want to go on a boat, have a good time. I'm all for it. But I'm... the buildup pissed me off. I have another idea. Okay. Yeah. So okay. Fidelity should have gotten a hold of Disneyland. That could have been a goal. Going to Disneyland. Because you know how expensive you Disneyland know, is? Know, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 But being able to also use that Fidelity along with... Advertising for Walt That would have been better than... That would have been way better. You know how you can go on a boat? You just go to... You go to Lake Tacoma. <laughs> right. like you, you, you can get like a tour with right. the patio boat. Okay. A pontoon. So how, well, how would you rate that? I rate it zero. I don't, so even give it, I don't even give it a number. I'll give it... I'll give it a one. Okay. All right. I'm not giving it a number. That's our commercial. deserve it. That That's pissed our... me off. All that build up for dick. <laughs> <laughs> That's our commercial thing. So uh, I want. I'm afraid to do this. Um, what are you afraid of? Well, I'm afraid to go back to stuff about Jack's birthday. <laughs> do it. Okay. Let's but it. I want to go ahead and do it anyway, just because you got to be excited. Because 18 is a big birthday, right? It is. It's something. I mean, it's not just a regular birthday where, whatever. Here's the things you can do. Here's 18 things you can do now that you're 18. You can buy a lottery ticket. Tobacco. You could are you are you him? No. <laughs> <laughs> you could open a bank account. Do you have a bank account? I do. But now you don't even need someone to sign on to it. I'm an adult. Okay. You're something. What's the next one, Drew? You already said it. Oh, tobacco. You can, you can buy, buy cigarettes. I can buy a have cigar. You ever, have you ever smoked before? Nope. Tried it? Nope. It's good. Probably for the best. Uh, okay, I put a I've done a vape before. Well, that's not the one same. time. That's not the same. Um, th- these are they're all still stuff. I need to re- reframe this because it says things that you can do that you're 18, but I actually know your father and you can't do them. <laughs> okay. Smoking's <True>. one. <laughs> Smoking. Guess what the next one is? Um, buy a house. Or get, or, I don't know. Get a tattoo. Get a tattoo. <laughs> okay, that's another one you right. can't do. Can't. You can get a piercing. <laughs> Again, that's a, another one you can't do. <laughs> well, no, this one's not a bad idea. En- enlist in the military. Again, you can't do that. Okay, your mother I, wouldn't I, let you. Uh, first of all, yeah. Oh, okay. that's true. I mean, your grandfather is a veteran, so. I'll do whatever I want to do. Continue. Do, do you, have you ever thought about doing that? Going to the military? Yeah. I think I think I want to go into the Air Force after college. That'd be, I wish I would have. Do you wish, kind of wish you would have? I tried. Uh, I got turned down because uh, I had too many medical problems. Yeah, but nowadays, they don't ask. They let, you know, they used to have don't ask, don't tell. Right. Which would have affected you. But now they don't care. They just let you in. Right, and now, I mean, I wanted to be a Marine. That's what I wanted yeah, to do. Yeah, they, they they would still let you eat. They don't care about your orientation. Well, it, it doesn't matter, uh, my orientation. <laughs> he <laughs> almost got <laughs> me, too. Yeah, he took me. You, did you know what I was saying, Jack? Okay, <laughs> yeah. okay, okay the next one. You can vote for president. Yes. Now, will you be voting for the president for re-election? The current president we have. Mm-hmm. Get back to me on that. 
get the hell out of this house. You shouldn't even have to think. Are you kidding uh, me? Of course not. Your okay. uncle would disown you. Uncles. Wait. Oh. Well, actually, never mind. Well, I don't need to ask that. Okay. Actually, maybe just two. The next one is you can drink alcohol in most European countries. And Canada. Yeah. Now, do you remember when we went on the family trip and your sister and your cousin, they were not 21, but they were old enough to drink? Do you remember what they did? They drank. They got fucked up. <laughs> they got lit up. I would hope you'd have a little You know, more. I kept trying I, to get you to take a shot, but I you ha- just wouldn't I, do it. You know what? I hope you have a little more control than that. Okay, the next one. Go skydiving. You ever thought about doing that? Yeah. Okay. The world's your oyster. Ah, here's one for you. I get sued. And I would do it after prom. Get married. You can get married now that you're 18. Hey, Jack. Um, Maybe we should have a private conversation off the air about that. <laughs> See, I think I should marry her. Here it is. Okay, lock her down. <laughs> lock her down, mom. Lock her down. Quick. Are you, you going to have the conversation with him? Yeah, I'm because have the it right. starts with the flowers bloom and the bees come and pollinate it. Right. Okay. You and know then, how to start it. And then it all of a sudden goes to, goes to shit. <laughs> it can easily oh, I thought you were giving him the the uh, sex talk. Oh no, I, I don't. I don't feel like I need to. I feel like schools have taught you enough. Unless the education system has failed to tell hey, you what sex is all about. Right, let's uh, let's Gilly. Gilly! Gilly! Gilly, the uh, KCTK mascot, is upstairs whining about something. I think your wife is home. Oh, okay. She's waiting. She's guarding the studio. She's guarding the studio and welcoming guests. I don't know if you guys know the big news that um, I'm getting another dog on Tuesday. Yeah! Uh, So KCTK is getting another mascot. Um, Caller 6 gets to name that dog. Oh, that's the big thing. And there is... uh, the proprietor of KCTK Radio, Miss Corte. Okay, so where were we? Uh, you were going on about um, um, you could get married. Could get okay, married. you get married. Will that be happening soon? No. Okay. Um, you can get a credit card. Nope. Yeah, don't do that. I, Father won't even let me. I got a Discover card, and you could buy booze, pizza, all kinds of stuff. It was awesome. And then you realize that you had to yeah. actually pay for all of that. Yep. Then you got a bill. KCTK Radio caller, are you on the air? Yes, I, I'm on the air. I think. Yeah, your um, caller six. Caller number six. Yes. Yes. Do you? I understand. Uh, excellent. I understand you got a contest to yeah. name your dog. Yeah, yes. I'm getting a new dog on Tuesday, and I'd like to have you, caller six, name that dog. Okay, and I I won, so I get to pick the name of the dog, right? Yep. Absolutely. How about Blue? Blue. That is an awesome, awesome name. I like it. But guess yeah. what? It doesn't make a difference what I think. You're the winner. Okay, Congratulations. It's probably, it's probably the <laughs> well, you know what? I like your first choice there, Blue, because it is a female dog. Mm. <laughs> because if it was, if it was going to be a little boy dog, I want there wouldn't have been a co- there wouldn't have been a uh, any type of contest, it would be Dudley. <laughs> but, but also, Caller, Caller, also, Dudley is also the name of Drew's son when it when, when he has he, a son. When I actually have a son, so I don't know. So thanks for calling. <laughs> hey, okay. <Right. laughs> Can't hear us or something. I don't know what the deal is. But let's get back to the things that Jack need to do. Now he's 18. <laughs> Okay, that uh, is a great name. You can work full time, which I think you can do already. Jury duty. Okay, that's always fun. You can sign a lease of your own apartment. You can now sue someone. Call Mac. He'll know who to sue. You Don't can be, sue me. Don't look at me. You <laughs> can, Don't you dare. You can be legally responsible for signing a contract. So if you sign the contract, here, would you mind signing this? <laughs> Thanks, Jack. Okay, I got you now. Oh wait, you're 17. Tomorrow's your birthday. And then... Um, Just change the date. And now this is another one that I know you've done before. Buy fireworks. Uh, actually, in Missouri, you have to be 16 to buy fireworks. Okay. Well, that's... And the last one? Go to jail. Go to jail. Yeah, big boy time. <laughs> big boy jail. Big boy jail. Yeah. Are any of these things lighting your world up? Are you excited about any of this stuff? Jail. <laughs> I'm not too afraid. Okay. You should be. You should be deathly afraid of the world. Should I? Well, yeah. One thing you can always do is that you 
can go to the movies. And a movie that is coming out that I don't know if you guys have noticed it or, or seen the, the latest preview of it. It's a little program called Deadpool. Deadpool what? Deadpool 2. Oh. Now, hmm. I'm trying to trying to get the... Uh, we need to get an engineer in here. Well, it's weird because I think I set up the computer where you have the dual monitors and it keeps jacking around. So, have you guys seen the latest? No, I haven't seen the latest one. Okay. Are you guys going to see the Deadpool? Uh, yes. Yeah, I think we're all going to go as a group. Okay, oh. I would like to do oh, that. I'm sure, oh, I'm sure are? he's going to go see it with his friends instead of with us. Oh. Will, you, will you go with us? Of course. No, he won't go. He'll go with his friends. We want you to go with us. So here it is. Guarantee it. Here it is, and I'm interested in... Uh, well, well, first your opinion, Jack, because it's your birthday, and then the the supreme superhero master Drew will tell us what he thinks of this master of ceremonies. Oh, okay. <laughs> we getting close. You all know the drill. Intercept the convoy. Watch out for cable. Hit it. There's this kid. He's in trouble. Move or die. Okay, can you help me a little bit? Cable comes from the future, mm -hmm. and he's trying to get this kid. Correct? Right. Okay. Fun fact, he's the baby, uh, or he's the son of... Cyclops? The kid? He's the son of... No. Cable, cable is. is. Cable is the son of Cyclops. No, yeah. 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 Okay. Son and Jean Grey as well. Now, this really isn't a, a spoiler. People who know the comic books know this, but... How is he a villain here, and then he becomes a good guy? Okay, so in his future, he's uh, ruled by Sentinels, and most of the mutants have been wiped out. Okay. So he has a resistance against the Sentinels okay. and against the government. Now, he is considered probably the most powerful psychic ever. Okay. And the only reason why I say that is because he has the sickness that makes his arm metal. It's a virus that is inside of him, and he uses his psychic ability to keep the virus from consuming him. Okay. But he can literally destroy an entire city with his mind. So why he really is he tried. fighting Deadpool this time? Um, I and think next this time kid has some kind of lineage of towards Sentinels. Okay. If they're still going to use that as the basis. But that was always the base story of Cable was he was in a world where it was a world of war. But he's going to end up being a good guy at the end, right? He's always been a good guy. Right. But he also is a man of action, so okay. he doesn't really give a shit. Okay. And he'll do it for the greater good. I ain't letting Cable get to him. But I can't do this alone. I need backup. We're going to form a super duper fucking group. It's time to get back on LinkedIn. Okay. I'm on LinkedIn. Why did they ask me to join? Okay, so Deadpool's other superheroes are showing up. Yeah, you got Bedlam. Okay, I'm, I'm going to ask you along the way here. Shatterstar. Hold that's on. That's the white guy. Hold on. Meets Bedlam. Bedlam. That's that's Terry Crews, isn't it? Hell yeah, it is. Now wait, who's Bedlam? Is he a uh, Bedlam? I actually don't know much about. I know he's just super strong. That's okay. pretty much it. And then and Shatterstar is a whole different, a whole different thing. Who is he? Okay, so this dude has a healing factor as well, but he can regenerate like Deadpool. Um, he can create voids with his sword. So he's I mean, another mutant. Oh yeah, he's just a badass. Okay. Domino. Domino. Now she she's shape shift, right? Yeah. She, she can shape shift. She can shape shift from her Okay. Party. Now, from this, then she looks like a complete badass. She is, and she's hot. I'm lucky. Luck I think she's a superpower. It's certainly not very cinematic. Yes, it is. Let's meet in the middle and say no, it isn't. Fuck it. It's showtime. Don't call it a comeback. And then he also has uh, the big Russian metal guy. Uh, yeah, he's got Colossus. Colossus, um, and he's then also the little fire girl. Negasonic uh, Teenage Warhead. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, Negasonic Teenage What the shit? This is the coolest <laughs> name ever. Uh, what's, her, what's her name? Uh, Negasonic Teenage Warhead. Cool. Um, there's another guy on there who spews uh, acid as vomit. Oh, my He played Pennywise. <laughs> oh, Bill, Bill Sarsgaard. Uh -huh. I think they're just giving him a robotic arm. Sure you're not from the DC universe. <laughs> 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 
seems like there's gonna be a ton of action in this movie. Oh yeah. Bring it on, one eyed Willie. That's a call back to the origin, Wolverine origins. Ooh! Yeah! Your bullets. They're really fast. <laughs> and last but not least, Peter. Any power you want to tell us about? I, you know, I don't have one. Um, I, I just saw the ad. You're in. <laughs> I love Peter. Oh, that's hilarious. And Peter, they just added him to the X-Force list on Wikipedia. Oh, that's awesome. So is that's he, even better. Is Peter, there, it's like Peter M. So, so, he's, so, so he's official. Yeah, so he's official X-Force is, member. Is, but is there a um, comic book? Oh, no, I think book? that's just for the movie. That's hilarious, though. So Peter was just like a regular, regular just, dude. Just some dude that was like... He looked like I want to be a superhero. Let's do this. <laughs> if I had a mustache, he looked like me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just an old dude, old fat dude that has no business being. <laughs> Saw that there. <laughs> he probably was looking in the newspaper of Hollywood. It says, "Bigger, middle-aged man." He goes, "I'm perfect for this." <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't know what the fuck he was getting into. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he you did. tell me. You tell me you're going to put me in Deadpool. Yeah. What <laughs> am I doing in Deadpool? <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> he, that would be that would be the best role ever. Okay, so Deadpool, what do you say? Thumbs I think up? it looks great. I think it looks good, too. Yeah. Is it going to be better than um, Avengers? Yes. Um, I think it's going to be a different kind of yeah, good. Like, good. It, I hope it's better than Avengers. Cause that, well, Deadpool, the first one was hilarious. What was his name? And Fantastic. Which one? Deadpool? Is it, what's it, Peter? It's just Peter. I think it's Peter M. It's not on here. That's that's so awesome. Did so, you look up X-Force? Okay, so we did a little bit of review. Or a commercial review and a review there and talked about things that Jack can do now he's 18. He's not very excited about his birthday, is he? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm well, just kind of bruising. I'm kind of cruising. Okay, well, we'll, we'll come back with more of KCTK Radio's week review with Paul and Drew and Jack. doesn't spring to life the moment you touch the starter. Don't blame your car. Try a tank full of signal ethyl. If your car's pickup doesn't make other drivers cast envious glances in your direction when the traffic light says go, don't blame your car. Try a tank full of signal ethyl. And if pings and loss of power are forcing you to shift on hills that other cars walk up in high, don't blame your car. Try a tank full of signal ethyl. After all, the performance any car delivers can be only as good as the gasoline you use to power it. That's why it's only natural that Signal Ethyl, a true premium quality gasoline, will bring out the best in any car, whether it's brand new or pre-war too. So if you're not happy about the way your car is acting, don't apologize for it. Drive into a Signal station. See if a tank full of Signal Ethyl doesn't surprise you. With performance, you can be proud of. Look at the wonderful prizes you can win. I'm going to want to watch for you. The penny in the slot, and look at the prizes go round and round. Bracers, wrinkles, harmonicas. This one removes the bucket from side to side. This one removes the bucket up and down. Here goes. You've almost got the watch. You've got it. Down the chute, now it comes. You just made it. The timer says finish. Kids, this is a toy you've got to have. Remco's Coney Island Penny Machine. Only twelve ninety eight at your favorite toy store. And hey, welcome back to KCTK Radio's Week Review with Paul and Drew and Jack. Were you guys ready to do an Ann? Yeah. You didn't pull one, did you? Did you no, have I, you not been I, sitting I, here listening to what we've been saying? I, I no. came up with a game plan and everything. What, what do you got? I was about erectile dysfunction. I heard it on ninety eight point one. I had my own rendition of it, and you just shat on it. Well, now we have a reason for people to listen next week. Awesome. <laughs> um, we are doing a countdown, another countdown for you folks, where we count down the top hits of each decade. Do you guys remember what the top hit of the sixties was? Um, it was the it was the Beatles. It was the Beatles. 
She loved you. I don't you. know what song that was. She loved you. Now, she the, loves the you. number one song of the 70s, you guys have a guess? I know you weren't around then, but just. Mm. I'm thinking maybe Debbie Boone. Very good. So Debbie Boone, you lined up my life motherfucker. on KCTK mm. Radio. CTK Radio is proud to present the number one song, single selling of 1970. You Light Up My Life, Debbie Boone. That's right. A song she claims is about Jesus. I think it's weird. I think it's strange. But it was the number one time in the 70s. I bet you guys are glad you weren't alive in the 70s. I'm happy. I think this was like during the satanic panic, probably. The, this song, I remember being a little kid. They played it all the damn time. I hate that song. I don't like it did, anymore. Did your mom like it? God, I hate it. I think everyone everyone played it. I guess that everyone liked it. But um, hmm. anyway, you guys are pretty, probably pretty excited about what's going to be in the 80s. And next time, I'm going to try really hard not to put it on the sheet to where Drew knows <laughs> what I'm talking about. But it just it's just another technique. But no one really cares about this. Let's hear a little bit more of the news of the Drew. Oh, 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 oh. so anything? we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and let Drew do it again. Are we, yeah. gonna, are we gonna shit on it some more? Okay, I, so here's the deal: Mormon Church in century-old partnership with the Boy Scouts of America. Ooh. Now, because of the girls <clears throat> being in it, this is before this. So they almost cut ties with the Boy Scouts of America when they were allowing gays into it. Okay, and now they have completely severed it. Now that they have allowed girls. So, Mormons out there, pick a reason to get pissed off and stick to it. Otherwise, you look like hypocrites. So, you wanted to quit before whenever they decided to put gays into it, yeah. but now you've really made yourself sound really cool and non-sexist by yeah. getting it all done and making your own versions of Scouts now. They have their own rendition of it now. So, wow. Utah, get your head out of your ass. Well, they they don't want they don't want girls to join. They want girls to marry them, <laughs> right? And they want to be able to have thirty million children with at least ten chicks because yeah. it's cool. Like having one wife is already tiring enough. Yeah, could you having imagine thirty? It's just ridiculous. Would you Would you like for me to do an explanation? Yeah, I like your your thoughts on it, Jack. Always. Oh well, I was just going to re-explain what he said, but say it in, yeah. in simple terms. Oh, oh, oh you're gonna, okay, you're going to do cool. the interpretation. Here, go ahead. You dumb it down. <laughs> um. Mormons don't like that the girls are being in the Boy Scouts, so they're cutting ties. Okay. Oh, that's weird. That's well, that, exactly that's, what I just that's said. That's kind of banned because well, I bet I there's a lot like of words. Mormons who were. So, are you going to be like Keen Peel, where uh, when the president says something, you actually you know interpret it behind me? The president says you need to get your head out of your ass. <laughs> oh, that was uh, which one was that? The one that won the Oscar? Sure. Did Jordan Peel win an Oscar? Well, he's nominated. Oh. I think he should have won. It was for Get Out. So Get Out. Yeah, get yeah. Out wasn't that good. So, Jack? I've never seen it. Any tech talk? Anything? Oh, yeah. I, iPhone 9 uh, or, or whatever iPhone comes out next is going to have three cameras on the back of it. Well, that's cool. That's really that's really that's nothing cool. really, nothing crazy has been really happening. I gotta tell you Are this. we trying to save time for before Mac calls? Is that no. why we're rushing? No, I'm just trying to wrap it up for you guys. Oh, uh, okay. Um, I, you know I have an iPhone 9? Yeah. And I had a new battery. It was working great. Now it isn't. I'm going to I'm have to get a new phone. Which one do you recommend? Just get the iPhone 8. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Jack, happy birthday. I, ho Thank I you. hope you loved the, everything I had planned for you for your birthday extravaganza. I, uh, I Chuck E. Cheese music. <laughs> uh, <laughs> stories. I hate it. I hate it. I hate uh, the Chuck E. Cheese. I the Mar it. God, Maria I Maria it. song. And uh, everything like that. This has been the best birthday extravaganza show we've ever had. You know what? This is... Kermit. He doesn't even wish me happy birthday. This is bullshit. 
You hate Kermit. No, I love Kermit. Uh, yeah, sorry about that and everything. Happy birthday and everything Thank like you, that. I love you. Wow. you know I that? love you too. Are you and doing everything. speed balls? Is that why you haven't uh, answered uh, us? Well, it was, it, I, that's what I called looking my own nuts a speed ball because I do it a lot. I'm a dog and everything like that. So, yeah, so next week we're going to have uh, in studio Blue, the new puppy. Are you guys excited about that? I'm excited. <laughs> Will Blue have her own theme song? Yeah, I think so. And now what do we do? I'll explain why her name is that actually. It, well, because just save caller it. six, just save it. Caller six. Okay, we've we've had enough, and uh, we can't really do any more. So we're not going to do any more. Okay. So <laughs> thanks. This a lot. has been a train wreck. Yeah, it really has been. This has been a real. Train you wreck. you have. You're like, I'm pissed off at the world and low energy. You're like, I gotta go do some other shit. I'm at 18 the same years old. time, I'm trying to also use that energy to be funny. Mm. And so far, I've got more laughs out of you than I usually do. Well, that's true. I mean, but you're all pissed off, and and I'm sitting there trying to make um, May 11, 2000, <laughs> seem like an the worst day fucking in the day. World. So I, you know, I'm not adding too much to this. But you know, this is our. Um, this is our hobby. No, this uh, is our show. You will, all, all of those are correct. I'm this just, is our fortieth episode. Actually, it's our. I'm looking. It is our forty second. Forty second. So that's awesome. We're almost coming up on a year. Yeah, when we do a year, the year extravaganza will be almost as big as Jack's birthday <laughs> extravaganza. Good, good, so good. okay, so next year when we do your nineteenth birthday, we're gonna make it as just as drool and dry. I'm gonna be as pissed off as. I'll get out. We know that you'll still be pissed off. That's right. what we like about you. Because that's what the Drush does. Yeah. All right. So thanks a lot, folks, for joining us on KCTK Radio's Week Review with Paul and Drew and Jack. Bye, folks. On Highway 9. <laughs> this has been a KCTK production produced by Paul Lavoda. If you want more information about this content, then you have some real weirdness going on. You can always check out KCTK Radio on Facebook. Listen to live programs at kctk.radio12345.com. Yes, and that is on the World Wide Web. Thank you.